we're going to go in a completely different direction today. After I get in tune. I've been teaching here for a long time. This is a direct result of what my people who study with me have me do. When The Fiddler's Green was current on an album by the Tragically Hip entitled Road Apples, they came in and said, can we do Fiddler's Green? And I said, sure, what's that? Because I thought Fiddler's Green was actually a collection of folk musicians back in the 1970s who played the Transac Club on Brunswick. It's a true story. It was. The Fiddler's Green were a group of guys and they played bluegrass country and folk music. And if I'm not mistaken, they're still around to this day. This has very little to do with folk music, all kidding aside. This is an open tuning. We're going to start venturing into a lot of these things. Fiddler's Green is from Tragically Hip, Road Apples, again, I think 1991, so it goes back a little ways. The open E tuning is E, B, so your fifth string goes up to a B, your fourth string goes up to a D, or pardon me, your fourth string, which is a D, goes up to E, your third string, which is G, goes up a half step to a G sharp. The higher strings, B and E, remain the same. Isn't that cool? You get an E chord. Great, what's that? E chord is that. That's what we know and love as an E chord. Only instead of me putting my fingers down, I get that. This is actually pretty slick because the big deal is that, again, I wanted to play with the recordings. And our manager says, well, Rob, you can't do that. The big deal here is I can play this by myself. It's, it's really cool. I don't have to say, okay, well, I got to put the CD on to play all these guitar parts. That's a good idea. You should do that. You should also play stuff that sounds really good because it's impressive. This is unbelievably easy. It's mostly open strings. And if you're not careful, it sounds like you can't always get what you want. Just I'm speaking of infringement on copyright. But it worked really well. There's only an element of it that sounds like, I saw her today at the reception. Glass of wine in her hand. See, so there's like no end in sight for this stuff. But Fiddler's Green is definitely in the open E. If you don't want to go that high, go to an open D, which is D, A, D, F, sharp, A, D. We're going to talk about that too. The opening for Fiddler's Green is this. the gist of it. So the opening, my third finger goes to the fifth fret, third string, with the fourth string below. And yeah, you can even put the second strings on top, it sounds great. Fourth fret, fourth string, third finger, pulling off from the fourth, third, pardon me, I'm sorry, fourth string, third finger to the fourth fret, second fret. But pardon me, fourth string, second fret, second finger. Yep. Open string down. Hammering on the fifth string, second fret, second finger. Open fourth string, strum the open chord. Repeat the motif. Second finger, second fret, fifth string, first finger, first fret, third string. 
hammer, strum the chord, back to the fifth fret, and again, same motif, third finger, fourth string, fourth fret, hold to the second. Second finger, second fret, fourth string. Now I want to keep that second finger on the fourth string, second fret, play it, open fourth, third fret, fifth string, third finger, so I have, and resolving back to the E chord. So once again, I'm going to recap in the next video. Thanks for joining us. We will be right back. Don't go away.